So we drove through the night so that we could uh, get through Ch Chicago early enough so that we wouldn't hit traffic. Um, Seth, Seth's sleeping in the cab of the truck right now. But the other thing is we don't really have a great place to put these batteries. The best thing we could think of is in my garage, but I really don't have much space right now. And uh, if we lift these batteries, they weigh a ton, literally. And there's no good way to pick them up. So uh, he's sleeping and I'm hitting up Harbor Freight Tools uh, so that I can get a couple of furniture dollies. We can drop the batteries on the furniture dollies and then we can move them around inside my garage. Yeah, it's actually so early they're uh, not open yet. Once we were back home, we, we used my engine hoist, which can easily lift a thousand pounds, but it was still a trick to get the battery off the trailer, lower it down, had to use some rollers to get it over onto the furniture dollies. After that, we were able to use my electric lawn tractor to push it. Broke the caster. Darn it! We used the steel pipes first as levers and then as rollers to push the battery box into the garage with the tractor. As wheels, not rollers. We just realized that the ramps are adjustable. They're, if they're slid as close together as possible, um, they are narrower than the width of one of those boxes and in theory we should be able to slide it down the ramp. There's literally no way we're moving that except that we've got a lawn tractor apparently without the parking brake on right now. Two enormous boxes. So the one thing I will say is moving these giant battery boxes is a pain in the butt. Uh, they weigh a thousand pounds each. The only thing that really worked well was uh, steel pipes as giant rollers and pushing it with the electric lawn tractor. Uh, we didn't really have any other better place for now so we made a little room, threw them in the garage, so now we can take them apart, see what's inside, and check it all out.